Winnetou, Nole Le Paiku. Welcome back to another edition of Nanticoke Language Lessons. Today we'll be continuing our series on Elongumachtit, our relations. Today we'll learn how to pluralize family terms with singular possessors. For example, we'll learn how to say my brothers, your brothers, or his or her brothers, etc. And we'll learn some more animate nouns that are not inalienably possessed. And we'll also learn how to introduce yourself and members of your family. First, we'll learn how to pluralize some of the family terms we learned in the previous lesson. First person, my brother, is nimat, nimat. To pluralize that to my brothers, you would say nimatuk, nimatuk. For your brothers, kimatuk, kimatuk. For his or her brothers, you would say wimata, wimata. Note that the ending is different here. This is called an obviative. When the subject, i.e. he or she, is third person, and the person being talked about is a sort of fourth person, if you will, uh, being that it's possessed by a third person, you would use this ah ending. And again, this is called obviative. Elder sister, female cousin, nymphs, nymphs. You can also pronounce this nymphs. For my elder sisters or my female cousins, you would say nimsuk, nimsuk. For your elder sisters or elder cousin, elder female cousins, you would say kimsuk, kimsuk. For his or her elder sisters or elder female cousins, wimsa, wimsa. For my younger sibling, regardless of gender, also for younger my younger cousin, nisam, nisam. And you can also add a diminutive suffix to this, nisams, nisams. And we'll use this diminutive form for the pluralization examples following. My younger siblings or younger cousins, nisamsak, nisamsak. Your younger siblings or younger cousins, kisamsak, kisamsak. His or her younger siblings or younger cousins, wisamsak, wisamsak. My daughter, Ntan, Ntan, and you can also pronounce this Ntan depending upon dialect. My daughters, Ntanak, Ntanak. Your daughters, Ktanak, Ktanak. His or her daughters, Wutana, Wutana. My son, Nuksa, Nuksa. My sons, Nuksawak, Nuksawak. Your sons, Kuksawak, Kuksawak. His or her sons, Uksawa, Uksawa. And my child, Neats, Neats. Note that the first person marker, N, sometimes coalesces with the noun when it begins with an N, as in this example. So this affix is more implied in this example. So my children would be. Nitsanak, Nitsanak. Your children, Kanitsanak, Kanitsanak. His or her children, Wunitsana, Wunitsana. Note also in this example that the ending un is restored in the plural forms. For the examples that follow, we'll need to learn a few more animate nouns. And unlike the family terms, these are not inalienably possessed, so they can be used without a possession a prefix. Boy is Wahokai Awantet. Wahakai awantet. Girl is pikweshwint. Pikweshwint. A young unmarried woman is kikshkwe. Kikshkwe. And a young unmarried man is gwiwisins. Gwiwisins. And this last word here might actually be a borrowing from Ojibwe, in which case in Ojibwe it means boy. Here we'll learn about David and some of his siblings. Wa wahakai awantet. David Lowensu. This child is named David. Wa, this is an animate marker, meaning this. Wahokai awantet, this means boy. Lowensu means he is named. If David were to introduce himself, he would say, David Ntelowens. David Ntelowens. My name is David. To ask, what is your name? You would say, Kwakha Ktelowens. Kwakha Ktelowens. Wa 
Piqueshwind, Mary Lowenso. Wa Piqueshwind, Mary Lowenso. This girl's name is Mary. Remember that wa is the animate marker, this. Piqueshwind is a young girl. Lowenso means he or she is named. Keep in mind that the verbs are gender neutral in Algonquian languages with regards to male or female. David Wiesem, Mary Lowenso. David's younger sister's name is Mary. David Wiesem, Mary Lowenso. Yok Kikskwewak Rose Koch Sally Lowensuwak. Yok Kikskwewak Rose Koch Sally Lowensuwak. These young women are called Rose and Sally. Here, Yok is the plural animate marker. Kikskwe, that's a young unmarried woman, to pluralize it, Kikskwewak. And Koch is end. And Lowensuwak means they are named. David Wimsa Rose Kotsali Lowensuwak. David Wimsa Rose Kotsali Lowensuwak. David's elder sisters are named Rose and Sally. Yok Gwiwisinsuk Michael Kots Mark Lowensuwak. Yok Gwiwisinsuk Michael Kots Mark Lowensuwak. These young men are named Michael and Mark. Again, Yok, this is the animate plural marker. These. Gwiwisins is a young unmarried man. And Lowensuwak, they are named. How would you say David's brothers are named Michael and Mark? You would say David Wimata Michael Kochmark Lowensuwak. David Wimata Michael Kochmark Lowensuwak. Willian for watching. La Pichkanawathmo.